fantastic chunk of funk. Very funky, very hard to write a lyric for because I don't talk like that. But it. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Do I don't that. phrase like that. So Chaz said that and I tried to write a lyric for it, which is very difficult. I kind of managed it in a way. Um, but then I couldn't get me around a tune very well. And I can sing it now 20 times better than that record. But when I hear it, I'll be honest with you, it makes me feel, you know, cringy because I'm singing it so badly. But um, I quite like it. And we don't play it anymore. I mean, it's a good exercise in discipline and playing, you know, difficult arrangement. Um, and it, it works as well. But in a way, we've all found it a bit self-indulgent, yeah. a bit too twinkly, a bit cocktaily. So there's new stuff we've started writing this year. It's got elements of that kind of harmonic and jazz vibe, but it's much more harder and much more um, takes less prisoners. I'll yeah, I'll give you a lyric, don't I? One of them. Yeah, I've got. Don't see all rude, yeah. And really, the stuff that we've been doing is more. Yeah. Like that, punchy. Yeah. It's um. It's, it's really, how do you? I mean, decide what you're going to do live. I mean, you say you don't play it live anymore. A um, great shame, in my opinion. But I mean, well, how do you? Sort you can't. You got to fit. There's so much to get in, isn't there? I don't like doing more than an hour and a quarter. I think yeah. it's too much after that. I only I've been reading the Led Zeppelin book. I've just been reading the Led yeah. Zeppelin book. And I used to do four hours. How could the Normans stand it, let alone, you know, the people playing on stage? I'd be asleep. Four hours. Because <laughs> that's what that geezer did. He wouldn't let them have a support. He sent them out on their own. He said, people don't pay to see the support. Yeah, I mean, an hour and a quarter, is it, to me, is enough. And I only ever play one tune after that. Because I think you're supposed to be exhausted at the end of a gig. Yeah. You come out of doing our 300 minutes, you're... Uh, pretending to do something you're not really doing. Yeah. So I never play one tune at the end. Yeah. Some hours you do too, but very rarely. Yeah. I never go off and come back. I yeah. like doing one and saying good night. Go home, man. Yeah. Yeah. We've done our jobs. So you have. I'd sort of, now we've got new ones off Mr. Love Pants. We got six or seven new ones we play off that. Yeah. And they all nine oldies. Yeah. And I play the real trusted and true oldies always. Yeah. You know, if if there's a like a gig in. In Germany, I always play Billy Wicky Dicky because I like a bit of umpa. Yeah. Um, <laughs> have you know, ever done it? Have you ever been tempted to get the Lady Hosen boys out and do a, do a Teutonic mix? That'd be good. Had to love a fair for his Helga. Hello, Helga. I am iron. Had a love affair with Nina in the I back of my metallic uh, blue Beamer. You see, they call me iron in. Uh, the foreign parts. Yeah? Uh, not Ian. So Iron. I'm afraid our roadie goes, well, bloody iron, love him. <laughs> 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 <laughs>